All right, so housing is more in demand today than ever before. You know, it is now currently 2022, and for the last 10 years, these builders have had their hands kind of burnt on the stove. Like they've been scared to build too much because what happened in 2008, 2009, all these projects that they had going, you know, kind of ultimately crumbled because they were building too much at once. Now, over the past 10 years, we've kind of gotten behind. More babies are being born. Older people are staying older. Like people are, are getting older and older every day because newfound technologies, newfound medicines. So multifamily is in higher demand than ever today. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to buy your first multifamily small apartment building. Okay guys, welcome back. In 2015, I bought my first small apartment building and it was scary as heck. By the end of this video, I'm gonna show you all the trials and tribulations that I had to go through as well as how you too can do this. All right, so it's early 2015. I had just moved to Colorado Springs, Colorado. The market wasn't quite as screaming hot then as it is now. Things were really kind of getting started. So I started sending out postcards and I didn't know the market was gonna absolutely go nuts. I just wanted to buy another rental property and I was ready to get into like a small apartment complex because I had purchased houses. I now had four houses and I was ready to start kind of expanding and scaling things like more economy economy of scale. Apartments are easier to manage because they're all in one place. You get like three times the rent for one of those if you have a triplex than if you had a single family home. It's the same lawn maintenance, the same, you know, snow plow, all that stuff. You can kind of really scale way faster. So I started sending postcards out and I was using a company that can be found at landofferletter.com, landofferletter.com. You can use these guys. They can send out your postcards or your, or your land offer letters, super cheap. So I was using Tara over at landofferletter.com and a gentleman named Norm calls me and he calls me off of a postcard and I'll give you the exact postcard that I use at the end of this video and that's gonna be my free gift to you today. But Norm calls off of this postcard and says, hey Brett, you know, I've accumulated quite a few properties in my lifetime. Uh, I've done very well with real estate. I'm looking to kind of go ahead and get out of all my properties. So me and Norm scheduled a time to meet for coffee actually of all things. Uh, he was a very kind man. We actually took the time to meet and ultimately I tried to figure out a way I could serve him. And it was like, he was just one of the nicest men I've ever met in my life. You know, prior military veteran, he worked with the military and stayed in Colorado Springs. And I guess that he knew I was in the military. So we kind of just hit it off. And then eventually he invited me to his house and he kind of like gave me a list of all these properties that he owned. And I remember on the exact sheet of paper, I'm writing everything down that he's telling me. And then ultimately he went and took me to all these properties. So it was like the match made in heaven. And I had no clue what I was gonna do. I was really just interested in one of the properties, but he had like 10 of them at the time and it was really overwhelming. And then ultimately, I told you how I just moved to Colorado Springs. He invited me and my wife over for Christmas dinner that year. You might be thinking, holy cow, I just wanna know how to buy my first small apartment complex. And let me just tell you, sometimes you need to do the dance with the sellers. Like you need to make friends, you need to figure out how to serve them. And I'm so glad I did because ultimately it turned into a beautiful friendship and also a very, very lucrative, lucrative apartment complex deal. So I told you about all these properties. What I did was I got them under contract and I told the seller exactly what I was gonna do. I was like, look, I don't have all the money to purchase these properties and I knew what he wanted and it wasn't quite worth it to me to be able to do that. So I was trying to just assign these contracts over to a cash buyer that had way more deeper pockets than I did because I was just starting out as a brand new second lieutenant, brand new, about to have a newborn on the way. And I didn't have all the money to purchase all these properties. I was really only interested in that one apartment complex. Well. Ultimately, I didn't have enough cash buyers. I wasn't able to find a cash buyer to purchase all of them. So I had this idea and I was like, look, I, I know that I can't pay exactly what you're looking for on this property. They're, they're, they're very run down and no cash buyers interested. What if I came up with an idea of me coming into a partnership with you on this one triplex? You know, we're gonna talk about the triplex first and if you like it, we'll keep moving forward with other properties. What do you think, Norm? Like, what if I were to come in and his name was Norm? Uh, if I were to come in and partner with you on this property, because at this time on this one triplex, he actually had some squatters living in it. They weren't paying him anything. He was behind on the electricity and the utilities. He had like over a thousand dollar utility bill because two of the units were sitting vacant 
and then the third one had a squatter in it. So it was starting to get kind of bad. So what I did was I talked to an attorney. I said, hey, we're gonna be 50-50 partners. He currently owes $116,000. Get this, like $116,000 on this this mortgage but it's so run down i'm gonna have to come in with about eighty five thousand dollars to renovate this property and pay this tenant to leave aka it really was a squatter uh, a squatter to leave at one time it was a tenant but they stopped paying and they couldn't evict them so norm said yeah sure i mean at this point i'm going in the negative i might even lose the place if i can't get it you know turned back into sorts and i forgot to tell you norm was 82 years old so we had an attorney write everything up, make sure it was all on the legit. And ultimately, I'm gonna give you the address of this property. It's 739 East High Street in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and it's 80903. 739 East High Street, Colorado Springs, Colorado, 80903. This is the property I'm talking about. So it took me about a year to renovate this property. I got a general contractor, we pull permits, changed out all the water heaters, like you name it, we fixed this place up to the T. It went from being a negative of a thousand dollars owed basically on the, to the utility company, plus a thousand dollar mortgage payment, plus everything else, all the other little expenses, but about negative $2,000 a month to a positive of $3,500 per month with three renters paying rent every single month. We had a doctor in the upstairs unit, we had a family in the downstairs unit, and we had a soldier in the very back unit, which was made three units. Well, ultimately, we did very well on this. Uh, the mortgage payment was about $1,000 a month, and then we also had the tenants pay their electric. So we're netting $2,000 a month net profit. And you might be wondering, well, Brent, I don't have $85,000 to renovate a house. Neither did I. I had actually purchased another property prior to purchasing this one in 2015. The market did well in Florida, so I contacted the credit union and did a home equity line of credit and pulled out this $85,000 cash. I didn't quite pull it out. The, the line of credit was sitting there, so that's how I was able to renovate this triplex and get it to where a tenant like fights over. You know, it's an absolute high demand. A tenant is like really happy to move in there and pay top of the market rent. All right, before I tell you what else happened to this, I want you to subscribe to this channel and like this video if you're getting any benefit from it. Like you're probably like, holy cow, just tell me how to buy apartment complexes. Well, I'm getting to it right now. So ultimately, Norm got pretty old on me. We had this till about 2000, 2021 and Norm passed away. So now he has three children and they're ready for an in their inheritance. So I had two options. I could have refinanced this property and paid off the children or as far as paid his family for his estate or I could sell the property. Well, at this time I was like, hey, the market is absolutely going nuts. We only owe about, oh, about $100,000 on this, this uh, mortgage. We've been making a pile of cash over the years. Me and Norm would split that $2,000 every single month and it's done well. I paid off the $85,000 loan that I took out. Well, what we decided to do, me and the children, is we sold the property for about $479,000. We only owed $100,000 on the mortgage, so do the math. So $479 minus $100,000, so about $379, me and the children split that 379. It was a great profitable deal. And I did what's called a 1031 tax exchange and bought two more new properties with that tax free with my portion of the funds. Let me tell you about my second apartment complex. This one wasn't so small. We had already been mailing this guy, the owner of this apartment complex. He lived in Tennessee, the property's in Colorado Springs. And I'm not gonna give you the address of this one because I still own it and I have tenants in it today. So I don't want anybody going by and, 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 and disturbing these tenants, but we had been mailing this owner in Tennessee that's managing this 19 unit apartment complex in Colorado Springs. Imagine the geography problems that he was coming up with. And we've been mailing them this postcard, but finally my cold caller that worked with me at the time got him on the phone. He agreed to sell it to us for $749,000. This is a 19 unit apartment complex in not so great of an area of Colorado Springs. It's actually on the upswing because here's the thing. When you got bad areas like this and everything else is growing around it, you ultimately, it's on the path of growth. So we bought a D level apartment where all 19 of the units either had squatters or people, the landlord, if, if they had $600, they could move in. That's about how the management went of this place. So we're currently still renovating this apartments, but we do have several other phases complete where we've had tenants move in and they're very happy 
but we were able to purchase this, this 19 unit apartment complex by going to a hard money lender and getting the funds to ultimately purchase the property and then drawing another couple hundred thousand to actually renovate the property and kind of stabilize it. Well, let me tell you, that couple hundred thousand wasn't enough. So ultimately the market kept appreciating. We got tenants that are paying. So then we went to an actual local bank that loves apartment complexes and they gave us a great deal, a great interest rate, and they, they refinanced us out of that hard money loan because we had hit our two year limit on it. We actually had to extend. The first one was 12 months and then they extended us another 12 months graciously, but we're paying like 9% interest on this massive loan. Well, we got the, uh, the local bank to get us down to about a 3%. They also gave us a couple hundred thousand dollars more to continue renovating the property. And we're almost complete with that. But that is my story of how to buy two apartment complexes. The first one was really small. The second one was a little larger, but how did I find these postcards, cold calling, actually communicating with people. Where did I find Mr. Norman Weber? Norman came from the high equity list that I found off of PropStream and you can get an, a free seven day free trial by going to thelandsharkslist.com. That's thelandsharkslist.com. And you yourself can pull that high equity list or the notice of default list and start communicating with these sellers of these multifamily units. All right, guys, as promised, I'm gonna go ahead and give you that free gift today, that postcard I keep alluding to. I purchased tens of millions of dollars worth of real estate with this postcard, and it is now yours for free today by heading on over to thelandsharks.com forward slash postcard.